As some of you will know, employers often require you to submit a CV as part of a job application process. This screencast is going to show you how to create a CV on Kudosh using the CV Builder tool. It's a really useful tool because once completed, you can download the CV to either Word or as a PDF file ready to be submitted or printed. It can also be used as a workable document throughout your college journey. So to access the CV Builder tool, we need to scroll down, click on My Documents and select the CV Builder tab. If you are not familiar with CVs or you feel you would like more information before starting, you can click on the Read More About Job Applications and Write in a CV button and for more information. And you can also select different tabs. Another useful starting point could also be the Student Career SharePoint page where you can find more advice and guidance on how to create a winning CV. So, as you, can see, there are, as you can see, there are lots of different sections, but for demonstration purposes, I'm going to start from the top, but you can start anywhere. If you click the plus sign towards the left of the bar, this will open the section. If you're unsure about what the section means, click on the arrow and Qudus has given you some guidance tips on how to answer each section. Once you've filled in the information in the boxes, Click save to return to the main page. Some of you will be using this Kudos CV builder for different reasons. Some of you might be using it as a workable document throughout your college journey and just building your CV up in your spare time. However, some of you might be using the builder tool in order to create a CV because you have a job in mind that you want to apply for. The best CVs are those which are tailored to the job you are applying for. So when you're looking at the skills section, I would suggest looking at the skills, qualities and experience which are listed on the job vacancy or you can use Kudos to find the job profile to look these up. From this information, looking at the skills and qualities and experience which is listed on the vacancy all on the job profile you will be aware of the skills qualities and experience that the employer is looking for in the applicants and you can start to shape your cv so that it illustrates that you have what they're looking for however it is important that you are honest because they will ask you questions about your skills in the interview so once you've decided on your three or four main skills which are relevant to what the employer is looking for, it's important to provide an example to demonstrate how you have that skill or quality. Consider examples from every aspect of your life and choose the most relevant. You could consider examples from work, from your work experience, from your education or your studies, from any volunteering that you've done, for any sports clubs that you're part of, for any hobbies that you do outside of college, for any extracurricular activities that you've taken part in, and also anything that you do within your home. So for example, you might be a young carer or you might regularly babysit some, for some family or friends because you will have gained lots of skills and qualities and experience and it's important that you are able to communicate this clearly but concisely. Try to use examples which are the most relevant to the job but employers will understand that you might not necessarily have done the job before so it's important that you use other examples to still demonstrate that you have those skills and qualities. Once you've typed your skill in and your example, you need to click add in order to be able to add more skills to the list. And then once you've added three or four main skills, you can then click save. Work your way through each of the tabs and remember to click save once you have completed the section. Like I've previously mentioned, you can either use this as a working document throughout your college journey or you can download to your computer in Word or as a PDF document depending on your preference. So if you did want to download it in Word or as a PDF, you can click these buttons here. Before you download, you can always preview your CV in the browser before you download it to your computer to make sure everything looks okay. 
If you wanted to get feedback on your CV from an advisor, you can either arrange a personal guidance interview using the booking system, uh, using the booking system on the Career Service SharePoint, or you can email the careers team email address, which is ceiag at chefco.ac.uk. Um, also, when we are back in college, the careers team does offer various C drop-ins, so you can always drop in and bring your CV in then for feedback once college resumes.